Well, I've been doing a little bit of work to some details on my um, 1955 Royal Enfield Bullet Green Liner, and I'm about to go and try it out up the road and see if I can feel a difference. I'm sure I will. One of the biggest changes is I've actually got a set of rear shocks on it now that have got a bit of give when you hit some bumps rather than the uh, rear end feeling like it's almost solid. So that's got to be a good thing. And um, I've also adjusted the chain tension, which uh, you have to leave quite slack because of the height of the sort of arc, if you like, of the swing arm with the longer than standard rear shocks. Because as you hit bumps, the tension taken up on the chain is quite a bit. But I've actually got, if you can see it, I've got a tensioner, a spring-loaded tensioner on the bottom run of the chain there as well. Um, I've also added a little extra bit of chain guard in there because this one wasn't really long enough. I mean, it's something that we had when we built the bike. So just to sort of finish things off a bit, I've added that. I've added, um, extended the mudguard with a bit of inner tube, which I've stretched over it and cut to the shape I want. So that should stop dirt getting flung into this sort of area here by the rear wheel. So that's got to keep things a bit cleaner than they were before. I changed from the sprung saddle to this which I think looks better. It also sits a bit lower and it's more comfortable. I've um, sealed around the uh, exhaust port where the pipe fits into the head to hopefully perhaps um, reduce some of the banging and popping that we get on the overrun on this. And I've added, um, I've changed the gasket on the tappet cover, which I'm hoping will address a very slight leak that we had there. Uh, it was nothing major, but there was oiliness appearing. So uh, I had a go at that. Um, what else have I done? Not long ago I fitted a mirror, which is handy. And I think um, I'm going to be going out and trying it out soon. And I'm going to take it, I've got a suitable route uh, planned, not far out of the village. And um, quite sort of bumpy, rough, single track roads, which we'll uh, finish off on coming down the uh, Roman road. So I'm going to get ready to go for a ride now. And then uh, I'll film the trip and uh, hopefully we'll get some good footage because there's a mixed bag of uh, weather conditions today. We've got beautiful clear blue sky this morning, but there's also some cloud and some thick mist and fog around. So uh, could be a bit of a mixed bag as we go round.